नमस्कार वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ एडिटोरियल यू नो व्हेन आई स्टार्टेड ऑफ दिस एडिटोरियल इनफैक्ट व्हेन आई वाज प्लानिंग फॉर दिस एडिटोरियल सिंस येस्टरडे आई वाज प्लानिंग टू टॉक अबाउट बजट आई वांटेड टू गिव एन एनालिसिस ऑफ द बजट अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट द बजट इज मे बी गिव यू अ फ्यू पॉइंट्स ऑन व्हाट वाज डिस्कस्ड बट देन आई रियलाइज दैट कुछ है ही नहीं देयर इज नथिंग दैट आई कैन डिस्कस फॉर द बजट बिकॉज़ देयर इज नथिंग टू बी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द बजट nothing really was told nothing really was said 52 minutes most of it went in praises of uh, sri narendra modi uh, our good prime minister so that happened so then i realized kuch bolne ko hai nahi there is nothing there is nothing to say in the editorial but i am going to still talk about the budget i am going to spend 3 4 minutes on the budget and i am going to talk to you about taxes let's talk about taxes and the budget let's get right into the show so uh, like i said uh, i will if you discard uh, the praises heaped on the prime minister uh, what was left of the budget was uh, things like rooftop solarization and free electricity charging of electric vehicles which becomes a which becomes an entrepreneurship opportunity promotion of post harvest activities expansion of nano dap application housing for middle class expansion of medical colleges vaccination for girls which i think is a good project comprehensive material uh, and child healthcare program which is announced extension of ayushman bharat coverage agriculture and food processing atmanirbhar oil seeds abhiyan dairy development program matsya sampada promoting investments and revised estimate of 2023 24 where they talk about revised estimate of the total received other than borrowings was 27.56 lakh crores and the tax received amounting to 23.24 lakh crores and tax proposal where ms uh, sita raman proposed not to make any changes in the taxations this is where my editorial starts baki sab to good and all the details of this are there in our website please go and have a look uh, it's concise and it's there in our website and also please download our app call the shots download that app because that app gives you news in 1 minute so you can go through the entire budget maybe in 5 minutes and uh, understand the gist of the budget so all this is there and like i said there is nothing much that i can talk about it but let's talk taxes see abhi kya hai ki um, there is no change in direct taxes there is no change in taxation according to mrs sita raman now the problem is <clears throat> what is left for us to tax everything in this country everything in this country is taxed and like i told you every person in this country pays tax some pay in the form of income tax some pays rest of them pays in the form of gst now when i say everyone in this country i mean even the foreigners who come to this country pay taxes to this country okay so everybody pays tax now i'll let's go through an interesting uh, uh, exercise theek hai na see a person let me tell you an individual let us look at us from head to toe right from our hair dyeing shaving everywhere you pay gst so let's understand if you see if you assume that what you see on the screen is you you know for your shaving you pay 18% taxes for your specs you pay anything between 12% to 18% gst for your perfume that you wear you pay 18% gst for that headphone that you use regularly you have paid 18% gst for your apparel your shirt your trousers you pay anything between 5% to 18% gst for your belt that you use in on your trouser you pay 18% gst for the watch you pay 18% gst your toothpaste that you use you pay 18% gst you know rice that we eat the rice uh, which is pre packed labeled you pay 5% gst for the wheat and uh, pre packed uh, labeled wheat you pay 5% gst for the footwear you wear you pay 12 to 18% gst for the skin care products and anything that you wear skin care products you you pay 18% gst for your mobile phones you pay 18% gst for your inner wear 
inner wear that you wear under your clothes there you pay around 5% uh, gst for a biscuit biscuit that you have you pay 18% gst for drinking water that is packaged drinking water 20 liter uh, bottles you pay 12% gst so show me one thing where you don't pay gst theek hai na okay worry about this you pay all the other taxes you pay corporate taxes you pay that is businesses pay corporate taxes individuals uh, pay uh, income tax you know all that happens over and above this, you are charged for your toll. You know, when you go to toll, you are charged. You know, you have these, all these, you know, new roads and all, they start. Everybody, Prime Minister and others and all, come and start the new road. But the taxes, the toll that you pay for that road is phenomenal. It's phenomenal. Okay. So, for everything, almost everything in this country, you pay taxes, you pay the government. Chalo, hai. You see, have you heard this uh, saying that take the wool from the sheep and then gift it a sweater. So you take the wool away from the sheep, you cut, take the wool from the back of a sheep and then give it a sweater and make it grateful for the rest of your life. The sheep falls at your feet and says, Oh my God, you have been so benevolent by giving me this sweater. That's the story. I feel like that sheep. I feel like that sheep. Because everywhere I look, I see our good Prime Minister's photograph saying that our Prime Minister is giving free that, our Prime Minister is giving free this, our Prime Minister is giving feeding 90 crores of people, 80 crores of people. Not just the Prime Minister. I also see other Chief Ministers. Even their photographs on, you know, this free and that free and offering electricity free on offering water free and all that. And I feel like that sheep. Don't you? Are bhaiya, whose water are you offering? Who is paying for it? You are only paying for it. It is the people who are paying for it. So, when the Prime Minister says, put my photograph outside the, the ration shop. Why should his photograph be there outside the ration shop? When the Prime Minister takes, takes selfie with me uh, in, in, a, in a train station, why should we take selfie with the Prime Minister in the train station? That ration is also being given with your money. That train is also being made with your money. That station is also being made with your money. And I am again saying I am not restricting it to just the Prime Minister. Lot of Chief Ministers also do it. Lot of Chief Ministers also talk about free healthcare, free schooling, free electricity, free water supply. Are Baba, where are you giving this free from? Where are you giving this free from? Where is this money coming from? In your pocket. It's coming from your pocket. Mind you, the more free... Uh, gifts and more free dole outs that these prime ministers and chief ministers give the more taxes they are going to charge you tomorrow because finally it is going to come from you bolta na water level is going to somewhere going to go and go and go and balance and you are that if the state spends more your taxes will grow more and the best part of the story is the state spends the money and puts their own photograph as if they have benefited, they have given it from their personal wealth or personal money. Now, <clears throat> what are we being thankful for? We have been thankful for a chief minister, stroke a prime minister, who has used our money the way it is meant to be used. You see, taxes are not meant to be used for chief minister's bungalow, prime minister's bungalow, prime minister's aircraft, Prime Minister's uh, entourage or Chief Minister's bungalow or Chief Minister's uh, uh, entourage or his vehicle. Our tax money is not necessarily supposed to be used there. Our tax money is actually supposed to be used for the benefit of the society. They are supposed to ensure that our tax money is properly channelized. Properly channelized so that people benefit out of it. That is their job. No favor. Now, one more aspect of the budget and this one aspect, I think all of us as Indians should know. Where does the rupee come from for the government and how does the government spend that rupee? 
Now watch your screen very carefully. 28% of a rupee comes from borrowing and other liabilities. 7% comes from non-tax receipts. 1% comes from non-debt capital receipts. 4% comes from customs. 19% comes from income tax. 5% from union excise duties. 17% from corporate taxation and 18% from GST and other taxes. Remember, this one thing that is worth noticing is, uh, like I said, 28% of the money we earn comes to us through debts, through borrowings. 28%. So the largest income earner for our country is still debts. Udhar, number one. Number two, 19% comes from income tax. 19% of the money comes from people who earn anything above 3 lakhs to whatever, 300 crores. This is the, this is where 19% of our money comes from. Only 17% comes from corporate taxes, companies, which means that the rich is not necessarily taxed more. Income tax, okay. But rich is not necessarily taxed more because 18% of the income of our country, which is actually the fourth largest after income tax, 18% of income comes from you and me, everybody. Even a, even a, like I said, a homeless person on the street pays, is part of that 18%. He pays for that 18%. So this is the core difference. This picture which you are seeing in your, in your screen shows you why the rich goes on getting richer and the poor goes on getting poorer. Why? It's because the rich is not taxed extra for the kind of money that rich has. While the poor has to pay equal GST as much as the rich. So just to take a name, a Mukesh Ambani, pays the same GST for the product he purchases from the marketplace as much as an auto rickshaw driver. So the taxes both of them pay are the same. But look at the income. The income difference is so huge. So a rich goes on collecting wealth and the poor goes on getting poorer and poorer. This is what I want to show you from the first slide. The second slide is where does the rupee go? How does the government spend the rupee? First is 20% of the rupee is spent on interest payment. Mind you, 28% of that rupee is gotten by uh, uh, borrowings. So of that borrowings, the borrowings that we do, we pay 20% of that rupee to furnish our loans, which is to pay interest. 8% is paid on centrally sponsored schemes. Centrally sponsored schemes are schemes that the center collaborates with the state and sponsors. So schemes where center and state comes together, where central gives a center gives a contribution, state puts the contribution and the scheme is launched, that is 8%. 6% goes on subsidy, 8% defense, 4% pension, 9% other expenditures, 20% state shares of taxes and duties. So unlike before, the center collects all the taxes. And of the taxes that the central collect, 20% of that one rupee goes back to the state. So the 20% of that rupee that the, 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 the center collects, 20% goes back to the state as their share for taxes and duties. 8% finance commission and other transfers. Now finance commission and uh, other transfers means transfer to local bodies, local bodies including panchayats, including municipalities and so on and so forth, where finance commission transfers them money directly. So that's 8%. 16% on central sector schemes. Now central sector schemes means schemes that are sponsored, 100% sponsored by the center. 100% sponsored by the center. So all your PM Yojanas and all that are part of the 16%. So this is how the rupee spent. We so saw how the rupee is earned. This is how the rupee is spent. So this is the point I wanted to talk about, uh, about this particular uh, uh, 
budget because there is nothing much else that I can I can speak about this budget. So this is what I wanted to talk about the budget. And uh, till I see you next time. That's tomorrow at uh, ten. Namaskar. Stay ahead with our Cutting Edge News app. Instantly access the latest shots in just one minute and breaking news in just fifty words. Download now for a smarter, faster news experience.